communicate further on the, um, the practical keys to favor this is the month of supernatural favor and uh, we suffer from the spiritual side how that God gives us favor and the spiritual keys to favor the prayer the honor of the triangles of power and all that but today we are in this empower service we are considering on the, um, the physical laws the practical keys that brings favor our way and we said in the first service that this favor comes with men that God is our source but our channel is men God uses men as channel to bless us so now after you have prayed after you have waited on God you have done all the spiritual keys and laws then you need to expect his favor through the channel of men and if man is truly our, 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 our channel we must understand we must have wisdom on how to deal with men how to relate with men if you're in this life this is a world of men this is not a world of spirits so you must sustain that intelligence to understand and know how to deal with men how to relate with men if you must be successful in life it must receive favor hallelujah God must touch men to favor you and for men to favor you you must be liked by men you must be loved by men so you have to do things that will make men to love you things that will make men to like you and that are the things you are looking at as you begin to engage them you see how things be working together to your favor in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah so we want to look at those practical keys and number one of those key is humility humility will help you to go far in life help you go far in life when we look at Matthew Matthew 23 verse 12 you know that when you humble yourself God will lift you up hallelujah when you humble yourself God will lift you up but when you are always you know arrogant when you are always proud no matter the knowledge you have you see you can't you can't be the you can't have the ultimate knowledge no matter, no matter what you think you know someone knows that more than you no, mat no matter what you think you have someone that have that thing more than you and if you understand this thing you always humble yourself hallelujah so humility will help you in your relationship with man hallelujah some of these men are kings they are queens they are men that you know that they have gone ahead of you and then if you are following them you have to be humble do you understand they may not be perfect men they may not be so amazing they may have their own weaknesses and deficiency but you must maintain that state of humility in relating with them you must not show that you know more than them hallelujah you see that in when you are that when you are talking with people you know whether they are humble or not you see them maybe having a discussion with them the way they will just take the thing from your mouth and start you know you are the one you know they are younger than you are do you understand and you expect it to, that they will sit down and hear but they will not do that they will start telling you that, that ah, i know more than they will start you know you, you see when an elder just keep quiet and start look, looking at him you know that uh, you have missed it <laughs> <laughs> you know they are, you are talking will be foolishness he see foolishness so if you must be successful you must have favor learn to keep quiet and listen hallelujah learn to be humble no matter what you think you have learn to be humble number two is patience Hebrews 6 verse 12 patience no matter what stay at it ask God for this virtue it's very important Hebrews 6 verse 12, stay at it. Trust God. The Bible says that, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Through faith and patience, keep believing. Keep believing that you will make it. Keep believing that you will, you will get that contract. You will get that business deal. Be patient. The, the process might be too long. The person might know the, 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 you know, the your boss or who, your, your, whoever that is you're looking at might not make it easy for you, but be patient. Be patient. You, you must pass that patient test. Hallelujah. You must pass that patient test in everything you are looking for, whether it's contract, business, everything, even in marriage, in relationship. You must pass the patient test. 
oh he's not serious ah you just you know disconnect from that relationship be patient with that person be patient with that man be patient with that woman be patient with that your customer be patient with that your clients be patient with him hallelujah number three is empathy empathy Matthew 25 verse 35 empathy what is empathy putting yourself in another's shoes it shows compassion the compassion they are hungry put yourself in their shoes they are rejoicing rejoice with them they are being sorrowful sorrow with them it's because of empathy that is why we go for for burials ah is your colleagues or somebody you know is you know is having burial burying the father the mother whatever is ah let the dead bury the dead you just say you don't need to be there you have important things you're doing your high network customer is having burial and you cannot make out time to follow i mean be with him in that sorrowful moment you don't know the keys some of our account officers in the band do you know that they spend so much they, you know that's why they keep going for occasion their customer is having better is doing this one they are always there because there are something they are looking at you may not know the person say on them con them you don't need that <laughs> dear sam you are intelligent person you are looking at that favor hallelujah so you must be show empathy hallelujah you show empathy and for you to show empathy you must be selfless if you always think about yourself just me and me and me alone you will not go far hallelujah because it's a world of men you must go that network you need it so i'll say your network is your network hallelujah the, the, the network you have is your network it's not about the money in your bank account do you know that money the bible says that money can grow with and fly away you can have millions in bank account tomorrow you go bankrupt but you don't have network of friends or relationship that can help you stand the game then you are poor so you need that network of men you need to be selfless in your dealing with men this is selfless don't say they're using my head sometimes let them allow them to use your head that is it too sometimes allow them you know they're using their head they're using your head but just keep cool because your eyes on the ball hallelujah if you are that type that is a ah, man cheat narim, I if you have that kind of mindset, you will not go far because if you're in this world, sometimes I get cheating. Do you understand? Sometimes I get cheating, what I get cheating so that you get what you want. Hallelujah. Selflessness. Selflessness. Don't no don't, don't don't be, you know, you, you buy something and uh, you know you have ten naira changes. You might cannot call one other sand. This ten naira must give it to me. If not, I'm not leaving your shop. <laughs> Uh, this thing I bought it 279 in in a, in a farm market. Now we are selling it um, 280. What is I you I I no agree. No, do you understand? So you must be selfless sometimes. Hallelujah. Open mindedness. Matthew 7 7 to 8. Open mindedness. Don't be stuck with your own belief. Don't be stuck with your own assertion. Do you understand? Sometimes you know think in their own lenses. Hallelujah. Think within their own lenses. Be open-minded. Look at it from the other side. That is how you relate with men. You must understand this wisdom. If you must go far, you must have favor. You must understand this wisdom. You must believe. You must walk with it. You must roll with it. You will see it every now and then. Your relationship with men. You will see how to be open-minded. Hallelujah. Don't always force your own belief system on people. Allow them to talk. And raise it from their own end. That is how to have quality relationship with men relationship that will last for long that's how you even have this help us hallelujah open-mindedness now this key is loyalty loyalty you see that in root chapter 1 16 to 17 loyalty you see in the case of roots say your god shall be my god your people shall be my people i will stay here with you we die here with you even if it's not moving even if this business is not moving i will stay with you we keep pushing until it moves this relationship is not working i'm not going anywhere i will stay at it i'll do my own part it must work 
You must be loyal. Hallelujah. Loyalty is cast in a generation. A lot of men are no longer loyal. You see, people they can't stay with you for long. They move. They say, ah, there's no way. They say, ah, there. When you look at them, they are selfish people. So selfish, just about their own. They don't. They're not looking at the big picture. Loyalty. Loyalty. Roots exercise loyalty, and we saw the outcome. It will eventually pay. Hallelujah. It will pay. Hallelujah. That is how favor comes your way. That is how men are favor is ah. We'll be thinking that the person is using jazz. There's no jazz. This person understand this little little these keys and is using them and is unlocking doors. Doors and your your career, your your skill cannot open for you. Your certificate cannot open for you. Your 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 you know the thing you think you know cannot open for you. This if you understand them they can unlock amazing opportunities that will take you to limelight hallelujah hallelujah then another one is mentorship mentorship you must mentor and you must be mentored hallelujah you must mentor you must train men because when you train them tomorrow they will become your helpers do you understand when men come to you take your time to mentor them Take your time to you know pass the knowledge you have to them. Take your night the time to build them. When you build this man, they will become your helpers tomorrow. So many lecturers have, uh, have have made it because of the students that they train in school. They met them in one way or the other to you know years after and they became the helpers. Roots, you see that in titles two, three to five, mentorship. And you also see in the case of the case of Esther was mentored by by her uncle Mordecai and see how amazing things began to happen in her life it's how she became queen it's how she, because of her the deliverance of Hebrew nations happened because of mentorship you know you must mentor and you must be mentor you must be a mentee of someone and that will you know it require a lot from you it requires submission Require loyalty, requires patience. Hallelujah. That is how men rise in this kingdom. Hallelujah. And another key is honor. Honor. Romans 12, verse 10. Honor. You cannot overemphasize this key. This key can unlock any door for you. In here in Dominion City, we talk about honor so well because you understand it. It's a key that can unlock any door for you that can give you access to thrones access to 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 any level the preferences to be preferred hallelujah gives you opportunities promotion because of honor and this honor is just little, little things just you know when you honor somebody is not it's, it starts from the heart it shows from your reverence reverential honor you just reverence the person you just respect the person when you honor someone you not talk, talk to the person anyhow you know this person is, is higher than you this person is already at the place you want to come to you must honor hallelujah you must respect that person both in kind and in gifts hallelujah both in kind you honor the person indeed you give to the person it could be anybody can be any man that you know that he has attained a level that you are, you are trying to come up honor in the place of work honor honor your colleagues honor your bosses honor your customers customers are to be honored hallelujah your clients are to be honored that's the pathway of honor that's the pathway to honor i mean to 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 favor in everything you are doing and it is seen in little little things in the way you package that goods for that customer it shows honor position for favor you must have integrity integrity in your dealings with men in your business in your career you must have integrity they must know you for that they must know you for that if they know you as a dishonest person if you know if you lie to someone the person knows that he lied to you he may not tell you anything but you know you, you lose that person and you can tell he is not true he is not sincere they will rubbish business for you. It's better, they tell us in, in place of work that it's better to 
to over you know over over deliver do you understand is that over deliver that the promise high and then you under deliver do you understand so promise you can say okay don't worry uh, by in three weeks time this will be available in three weeks will be available and you try everything within your mind and deliver in two weeks person will value you person will give you referral referrals but you say that the person three weeks time and in one month you've not even called the person and say ah i'm so sorry you so so and so thing happened and i couldn't make it and you didn't say anything <laughs> what do you think the person will think of you you're not a serious person sure you're not a serious person so integrity will stand you out integrity will give you referrals integrity will give you preference hallelujah so these are practical keys to greatness practical keys to favor number 10 is excellence 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 you must package very well starting from yourself you will dress the way men will address you you know so you dress the way you appeal to men it will dress like a thought they will take it for a thought if you appear beautiful men will honor you men will, will, will want to do things with you they say looking good is good business so you have to look good that will bring favor your way hallelujah the place of your work the place of your assignments there has to be something that talks about excellence so when excellent people come to your place of work or come to your office they look out for details you may not look at them you might have broom in your place of just litter everywhere have cobweb is there you don't you never call to you as cobweb you need to remove it when people that are you know no wonder the bible says that that king shall come towards the brightness of arising so the, the these things are what attracts great men hallelujah they see excellence they say how you you know plan your work sessions and everything they say how it is neat they say how cool that environment is they will, they will come your way you give them premium service you can charge them any amount and they're willing to pay for it hallelujah because you are giving them value for it excellence that's why in Domino City we don't play with excellence. We don't play with excellence, so and that's why we can do anything for it. We say, ah, this people are wasting money, we're not wasting money. We are excellent people. We are what? Excellent people. It's one of our core values. It's one of our core values. Excellence. It has to be a mind, you have to have a mindset of excellence. You have to have a culture of it. A culture of it. In the loop. let people know that you do the excellent your packaging is not just anyhow you do chim chim but when you package that chim chim they will think you imported it hallelujah they will think you imported it i will tell them that man don't don't have the mind to tell you ah this is too much there's one guy that is doing just um this what's it called tiger knot when she he packages him very small thing that is not even up to it's not even up to i don't know whether it's up to 20 cl very small and he said it's 1,000 naira or one bottle. But some of you will buy it 200 naira. You buy it 200 naira. In a quick one, in a quick one. But that one is 1,000 naira. I didn't even have the God to tell him, this is too much. But if you look at the thing itself, fear no even grieve you. Hallelujah. Excellence. Imbibe that culture. That is how, you know, you are taught these things. You are proud quality men, quality relationship. All these governors, all these big men, they have a place they go and eat to. They don't go and eat in the book out. They don't have a place they go and eat. They have a place they go to shave. They have a place to go and do, they go for shopping. So you have to, you may not start big, but that little you are doing, start with excellence. And as you grow, you keep growing. Hallelujah. You grow in excellence. Hallelujah. But it's a culture, it's a mindset. If you have the mindset, you see the little things you do. You see the way you dress, you see the way you act. Hallelujah. 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 Then the last I'm going to talk about is diligence. Proverbs 22, verse 29. Diligence. The Bible says, See yet a man diligent 
in his business he shall stand before kings and not before me men see if a man diligent in his business whatever your hand finds to do do it what with all your mind don't be a lazy person if you're lazy nobody will help you nobody will help you if someone gives you money to start business and nothing comes out of thought, nothing came out of it you embezzle that money that business is shut down you cannot stop that person will not help you again often in our bambo ah, this person in our bambo this person is doing well this person is very you know it's very doing very hard working they'll be moved to help you they will move to help you they will move to help you do it with all your heart there is diligent in labor you must be excellent you must be diligent in your work in your place of work if you're not diligent how can you be promoted how can they appraise you well how can they appraise you well you agree say you have prayed you have done all the whole prayer gymnastics but then it comes to these practical laws and you are failing and you ask why are you not promoted why are you not preferred why are you not preferred ask God to help you ask God to help you this month is a month of grace if you are lacking any of this trade these qualities is available in Christ ask God to help you come boldly to the throne of grace until he pauses on you your life will become sweet your life become admirable your life will be like an ointment poured out to your customers to your clients to your beloved and they will come to you hallelujah hallelujah before we pray just give me sons of solomon chapter one sons of solomon chapter one verse three can be on your feet as we we'll pray to God. Our life must be better in this season. As we begin to engage this laws, I begin to engage these keys. Our life cannot be the same. Our life cannot be the same. Oh, our life cannot be the same. A lot have been said. A lot have been said. We need God to help you. Is it because of thy savour, the savour of thy good ointment, thy name? Oh, thy name is like an ointment poured forth. Because of the savour of thy good ointment, of your good character, of your good character. Your name is like an ointment poured forth. Whenever they mention your name, people are delighted, people are glad. Whenever they mention your name, people are glad. Because your name is like an ointment poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love thee. Therefore will your employers love you. Therefore will your business people love you. Therefore will people love you. Therefore will people want to do things with you. Can you ask God to help you? Can you begin to pray and say, Father, help me. Put the spices on me. There are spices. There are spices that distinguishes men. That bring distinction to your life. That add quality and flavor to your life. That add quality and flavor to your life. Dear Father, Shadi Barus in a Mande Coboro Cabai Baratas, Ezenemele Combro Cabaragadilla Baragadesh. The Bible said, True wisdom, a house is built. Amara Comboro Kibile Comboro Caba de Belecan de Baracabadilas, Ole Malacabora Senemele Caba Ebaracata, 
make a commitment this morning. Aleko Baba Bass. Oh, tell God I'm gonna walk in this. I'm gonna be diligent. Oh, Lebara Shepande Barakabaradada. Relationship will not slip away from my hand again. Oh, I will not bang that door again. Maranson de Belekoro Baba Baba Dilapa. Rakabande Leko Silamande Bele Rabarakata. Shelebora Bandi Biala Labosh. Zendi Barakabonde Beletet. Open up your mana. As a father, get me, Father. Let my name become and my become a spicy spoiler. Let my beloved come to me in the small open mouth and pray. Let you be preferred in the name of Jesus. Oh, give you that visibility, give you that acceptance in the name of Jesus. Rasa de Berekopo Boboro, Rasa de Belekabandi Brakapo Ata. Help me to walk. In loyalty, and the man of the poor pan de Berekasa, have it to walk in honor in the name of Jesus. All these are spices, the spice of your life, the spice of your life. And the Kambora Boloto, the bee we gather because of this ointment. Oh, they will network wherever they are. It doesn't matter where your business is located. Men will be referred, they will come to you. They will network men to you. They will refer people to you. Because of the spices around you, around the many candy paratas, you're intentional in building this, you're intentional in building the spices, cultivating them intentionally. Rabate bele kundi paratas, you see with the Holy Ghost, and you begin to put this on you. You begin to put this on you like a garment. You begin to put this on you like an ointment. You put this on you like an ointment. Oh, it makes your life beautiful. It makes your life beautiful. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Very 
Come on, you are in the glorious places. To your beloved, they will come. They will rush in you. They will come after you. Abande le betala. They will come to face you, boss. Rush in you. Abande barakata. Son de bele konda barakata. Ole shalalala. It is time to favor Zion, says the Lord. But the same time has come. Oh, you must be favored in the city. The borders have been opened. The house be opened. You cannot be a separate. You cannot go and unnoticed. You must be favored. Your business must gain visibility in the city. Yeah. <laughs> 